Oh my god, I can't believe it works. I turned this into this. This is my aluminum background bouquet walk. Those and everyone, my name is Martin Wong, and today we are going to be doing a little bit of product photography with this two products that I just got in the mail. The first one is the Razer Siren V3 Chroma, and the other one is also a Razer Siren Mic V3, but this one is in pink, or as they call it, port. Very cute. The something different that I'm gonna be doing today is that I'm gonna use a household item to do the background, which is something that I have done in the past. This item, which is this aluminum foil. A lot of you have this at home and use it to usually, you know, grab your, you know, tray, just, you know, make cooking a little bit easier or a little bit mess free. I have done this before where I use this to make a very cool, thick bouquet looking background. For those of you not familiar, bouquet is like those little bubble circles when a picture background is out of focus. I have done that before in the past with this and they make really cool effects. I'm not sure if I can recreate it, but we're gonna give it a try. But first, let's unbox these two items. Here you have it. These are the two products that I'll be shooting today. The cool thing about this one too is that it lights up. That's why it is the V3 Chroma. Very unlike the one that I actually have been using. I actually have been using the old, like the first version of the Razer Siren, but uh, the Elite. But this is like so many years ago, it doesn't light up. And so maybe lights here at the bottom, if you peek. But this one is a much better quality these days and also it does full chroma. So I really want to try it out and see what it looks like. And of course, I'm going to make some crazy color background with this as well, just to see what kind of shot I can get. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So here's the game plan. I'm going to set up two light stand here and then try to put like a bunch of, you know, aluminum foil in between them. And hopefully I can make a background. And then I'm going to get like maybe a, you know, a stool, like a sitting stool and like drape some cloth, like a black cloth over it. And then you no, know, put my little mic on it and see if I can get it to work. So let's get it going. There you go, there's some aluminum foil. Ta-da! This is my aluminum background bouquet wall. All right, next up, I'm gonna put my product here on this chair. And let's put a piece of black drapes over it. Now that I have my Razer laptop plugged into the mic, I can choose whatever color or effects that I want. I'm gonna stay with the spectrum cycling so I can go through different colors, you can try to get different shots. And next, I'm gonna plug in two lights here, uh, one's on the, each side. These are my uh, Zuyan 60 RGB, uh, the 60 XRGB, very powerful, very small, handheld portable lights that can you know, shine different colors to the background too. So I'm gonna make this a very colorful image. So I'm gonna put one on the left side and put one on the right side, try to get different you know, color background on it. Uh, same thing, I'm gonna try to do different uh, color cycling. So with that, maybe I can get different shot without even moving at all. All right, now I've turned off almost all my lights except for the color lights and the main lights on the product. I'm gonna use my camera, but I use a Nikon Z8 with an 85 f1.2, so then the bouquet will be bouquetlicious. So let's get some shots.
the shot turned out surprisingly good. So you know what? I'm happy with this. Let's switch over to the pink mic. One thing I noticed is that the vocabulary looks so good, so I actually do not need to separate the product so far in front of the background. If I put it close to it, it will still create this awesome result. Here, take a look. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cool little trick that I found out like a decade ago and I'm so glad I get to show you all today. But if there are any other tricks that you would like me to show you or if there's something that you know that you want to have me to try it out, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!